Maria Clara Dances Maria Clara is the main female character in Jose Rizal's Nole Me Tangere, a literary piece that features the colonial situation of the Filipinos during the Spanish regime. She was characterized as a Filipina woman of virtue and nobility. This dance is a mix of Spanish gracefulness and customized native props, such as bamboo castanets and Asian fan. Female dancers wear Maria Clara dress that typifies the European style while men are in Barang Tagalog, a traditional Filipino embroidered long sleeve shirt made of pineapple fiber. Nearly 400 years of Spanish rule left an unremovable mark on the Philippines. Spain brought with them all aspects of their culture to the islands. This includes the Catholic faith, clothing, and dance. The Barong Tagalog and the Terno are Philippine interpretations of Spanish dress made to fit the humid climate of the Philippines. Aside from creating their own versions of European fashion, Philippine aristocrats created Filipino adaptations of European dances as well. This includes jotas, fandangos, mazurkas, and waltz that were danced by young socialites to the stringed music of the rondalia. As the Philippines was colonized by the Spaniards, it was customary for Filipinos to celebrate their class and distinction through Spanish-influenced dances and this era of dances was also referred to as Maria Clara. Maria Clara Dress Maria Clara Dress is an elegant formal outfit for women with clean lines that symbolize the virtue and nobility of a Filipino woman. It originated from the local Barat Saya. It is one kind of traditional dress worn by Filipino women. The Maria Clara is considered a mestiza dress because it is an ensemble combining indigenous and Spanish influences. The main parts of the dress are the barot, saya, tapis or sobrefalda, panuelo, inagua, and a matching paineta, tambourine, and zabatilla. Next is barro. The barro is obviously an improved version of the pre-Hispanic barro. The sleeves were made wider and bell-shaped to suit the hot climate of the country. Traditional textiles like abaca and diet were later replaced with imported finer textiles from abroad. Belgian laces became more favorite adornments on the trimmings of the sleeves, so sobre falda and the panuelo. The next is saya. Saya literally means skirt. The saya has also evolved from the lowly saya of old. It was however made wider, flared, and billowy. Several saya styles or cuts became popular in different Philippine regions. The most popular is probably the paneled saya, where panels are of strongly constructing or coordinate colors are soon alternately into the ballooning saya and an extravagant wide skirt. The most widely used in the Visayas, particularly in summer and late, is the Saya Serpentina, which is bell-shaped and has a serpentine profile. The most popular Saya worn during formal occasions is the Saya de Cola or skirt with tail. The next is the Panuelo. The Panuelo derived its name from the Spanish Paño, which means scarf. The panuelo is a wide triangular scarf covering the back and fastened securely in the front by gold brooches or pins. The panuelo is the only Spanish originating part of the Maria Clara assemble. The panuelo is also called baxa among the Visayans, babaharin among the Tagalogs, and kandunga or panyolon to the Waray people. The next one is the barong. The Barong Tagalog, more commonly known simply as Barong, it has an embroidered long sleeve formal shirt for men and a national dress of the Philippines. Barong Tagalog combines elements from both the pre colonial native Filipino and colonial Spanish clothing styles. So, here are the examples of Maria Clara dance. First is the Cariñosa. It is a Philippine folk dance of Hispanic origin 
it is closely associated with the island of Panay and the Visayas region in general. The word cariñosa is from the Spanish cariñosa meaning the affectionate one. Most Filipino women can be described as cariñosa. This is a courtship dance that portrays acts of flirtation between a man and a woman. The dancers perform steps resembling hide-and-seek movements. The woman holds a handkerchief or sometimes a fan. Next is the Habanera de Jovencita, a wedding party dance which originated in the town of Botolan in the Zambales province. Typically, sequences include the procession of the bride and groom's parents, line up of the bridemen's and groomsmen's upstage, and the solo featuring of wedding couple. The next is the Timawa. Timawa meaning forsaken lover. Timawa is a courtship dance usually performed by women and originated in Lamot, a barrio in Capiz. The story recounts a man and a woman, both Timawas, who met at a social gathering and became acquainted with each other. In the course of their conversation, they discovered that they both had the same misfortune. Therefore, turning to each other for sympathy and comfort. That's the only examples I can give but there are a lot of Maria Clara dances here in the Philippines. Thank you for watching.